At the Eurosatori 2022 International Defense Exhibition in Paris, German company Rheinmetall unveiled the new KF-51 Panther main battle tank, MBT. As the tank of the future, the KF-51 offers new standards in all areas, including armament, protection, reconnaissance, networking and mobility. The KF-51 can be easily updated and equipped with the latest capabilities and functions. Adopt open architecture, modular and advanced NGVA system. Its main armament is the Rainmetal 130mm Smoothbore Future Weapons System, FGS, with an automatic munitions system for up to 20 rounds. Compared to the current 120mm cannon system, the FGS provides over 50% greater effectiveness over a much longer engagement range. The FGS can fire kinetic energy K, shells as well as programmable airburst munitions and compliant training shells. The secondary weapon is a 12.7mm coaxial machine gun. As an option, the Rainmetal Natter Remote Controlled Weapon Station RCWS, with a 7.62mm machine gun can be installed. It is also possible to integrate the launcher for the Hero 120 roaming ammunition from Uvision into the turret. This increases the KF-51's ability to strike targets beyond its direct line of sight. All weapon systems are connected to commander and gunner optics and fire control computers via a fully digital NGV architecture. In the future it will also be supported by artificial intelligence AI. The KF-51 features a fully integrated, comprehensive and weight-optimized protection concept, combining active, reactive and passive protection technologies. The most interesting feature is its active protection against KE threats. This increases the level of protection without reducing the weight of the system. To ward off threats from above, the KF-51 is fitted with Rainmetal's own top strike protection system, TAPS. Meanwhile, the fast-acting rosy smoke slash barrier system hides the KF-51 from enemy observation. In addition, its digital NGVA architecture allows the integration of additional sensors to detect launch marks. Thanks to its pre-fire detection capabilities, the KF-51 can recognize and neutralize threats at an early stage. Thanks to the panoramic CIOS optical sensor and the EMES main battle target device, the commander and gunner can both observe and attack targets independently of each other, day and night, and IR optics with integrated laser rangefinder are available for both. In addition, through the display in the battle compartment, the crew has a round-the-clock 360 degrees view of the vehicle's surroundings. The integrated unmanned aerial reconnaissance system increases crew situational awareness in the combat area and around the vehicle. Crews can also carry out reconnaissance under armor protection and share the results with other comrade teams on a network. To operate this 59-ton tank, three crew members are required, namely the driver, commander and weapon operator. The Panther is the product of the company's own, years-long development, a risk that appears to have previously paid off with its lighter brother, the Lynx Infantry Fighting Vehicle, which has become a serious contender in acquisition races worldwide. Weighing in at 59 tons, the fully digitized Panther features a 130mm cannon, compared with a 120mm weapon on the Leopard 2, the German Army's go-to tank since the 1980s. The larger, heavier projectiles would deliver over 50% greater effectiveness at significantly longer ranges, the company said in a statement. Crewed by three, but with space for a fourth, it also boasts a drone launching pod as well as launchers for loitering munitions, a type of hovering rocket that can be programmed to wait in the air before swooping down, warhead first, on its target. Rainmetal CEO Armin Papperger positioned the new tank as coming at a time when a war of heavy weapons has returned to Europe. We have seen over the past couple of months what could happen, and what happened in the conflict between Russia and Ukraine, he said, referring to a battle dynamic in which the tanks' fleets of both sides are doing damage and sustaining losses at the same time. To increase survivability, Rainmetal built into the Panther its suite of passive, active and top attack protection systems. Its smaller footprint means the vehicle can pass through tight tunnels while loaded on rail cars, a feat that requires advanced preparation for larger tank types, according to the company. Rainmetal's Panther push comes as the German-French defense partnership, entrusted with producing next-generation European weaponry for air and land warfare, is treading water. For Germany, progress on the future combat air system is inextricably linked to progress on the main ground battle tank, 
a futuristic battle tank developed by the partnership of Germany's Krauss Maffei Wegmann and France's Nexter, with Rain Metal as something of a junior partner. But the FCAS program is awaiting government intervention to unstick differences on workshare and intellectual property handling between its national industry leaders, DESA and Airbus Defense. Should that program fail, experts expect a domino effect that would likely sink the common tank program, which is languishing in the study phase, its concept still PowerPoint deep at best. Papager, who didn't take questions at the unveiling ceremony, didn't say how the Panther would fit into the future European tank market or MGCS plans. But executives at the company's booth said the new product, and especially the gun technology, could well find its way into the French-German effort as something of the centerpiece for grouping unmanned assets and other weaponry comprising the larger effort. The FCAS program features a similar approach, called System of Systems, in military parlance, with Dassault claiming ownership of the manned fighter jet at the core. In addition, company officials said, the Panther could be an attractive option for Leopard using armies not involved, or interested, in MGCS. According to Papager, serial production could begin in two and a half years.